Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and today I'm gonna to be unboxing another Love Every Box. This is one of their play kits. This is specifically the companion play kit and it's specifically designed for ages 22 to 24 months. So right around two years old. If you've been following along, this is actually my second Love Every Box. I did my first unboxing a couple months ago where I got a play kit for my older son who is about three and a half years old. So I tried one for him. We absolutely loved it. The quality of the toys that are in here, just the thought that was put behind I thought was really awesome. So I decided to give it another try and try a play kit more designed for my younger son, who, who like I said, is right around two years old. So this box is totally sealed. I'm covering up my label here so you can't see my address, but I have not yet opened up this play kit. So in this video, I'm gonna do a complete unboxing, a live review for you. I'll give you my initial thoughts and then hopefully I'll be able to go play with my kids for a little and then give you an update based on what our favorite toys are, which ones we actually really liked. And then if we think we'll do more kits like this or the ones that are a little bit older. Since I have two kids, I feel like having the older kids or something that both my kids can play with. This box might just be geared towards younger kids, so we shall see. But if you're brand new here to my channel and you like unboxings of toddler products, baby products, reviews from a mom, I hope you stick around and check out this video. I would love if you gave it a like. Also subscribe to my channel to get more of this content on your feed. And without further ado, let's dive in. I'm really excited to see how it compares to the other play kit that I got. I wonder if there's like a theme like where they always include like a book or like a big object that you have to build together. Like I don't really know if they're all similar or not. This one, I don't recall actually looking at what was inside of it ahead of time. If you watched my video previously that I keep referencing to, in that one, I actually knew one of the items that was gonna be in the play kit, which I was really excited about. It was kind of like a kid Swiffer. And so I was really looking forward to that. Whoa, this sounds like there's some wooden pieces inside that are rumbling around, but it says designed by experts for your toddler's developing brain. And it, like I said, it says the companion play kit, 22, 23, 24 months. Do you hear that? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take this thing off. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of colors going on in here. And I feel like I'm gonna keep referencing the previous one that I have because it's like my only experience with these boxes. If you guys get these all the time, you might already know what they're like. But I recall my last one, they were all kind of like covered up in boxes kind of like this. So I feel like I like didn't really know what I was gonna see. And now I'm just like so excited because I can basically see everything. There is a guidebook that's so gonna tell you exactly how to use it, why it was built this way and developed in this order for your age kid. I'm gonna try to grab that first because I feel like I skipped over that last time. So this says love every every the companion okay inside is going to show me exactly what i should expect it looks like there are eight things in this box which kind of feels like more than the last one i got which is pretty fun it says there's going to be a wooden posting stand montessori animal match drawstring bag the buckle barrel transfer tweezers felt stars and felt basket mosaic button board chunky wooden jigsaw puzzle and graham turns to board book so eight items in this box gives you a little visual and then this is the actual play guide this is what I thought was just like so well thought out compared to the toys that maybe I typically buy, which are just kind of random. Like I have no rhyme or reason behind them besides it says like age two, you know? This one is gonna tell you ways to play with the toys, expert tips, development info, and at home activities. So it has a tab for each of those. So it basically walks you through some milestones that your child should be experiencing around this age. Like it says around two years old, your child may be expanding their comprehension by one or two new words per day, which is something that I'm experiencing. I feel like my two year old doesn't say a ton of words right now, but it seems like certain days or certain weeks, they just learn so much more all at once. So it says understand and follow two part instructions, build a tower using six cubes, etc., etc. You get the idea. So this is definitely a great guide to read through before you actually introduce these toys to your kids, but I won't read this whole thing to you. I promise. Let's just dive into the first thing. Should I read what the first thing was? It's something about sticks. Wooden posting stand. I think it's this thing that I pulled out, pulled out this, which I think is the sticks. This. Okay. This is so cute. I feel like this is going to be just like a nice little update to our playroom situation. So we have this, and then I think the sticks just go inside. And if you can see, there's like this like acrylic plastic on the outside, and this is what the sticks actually go through. And then I think, can you see there's like circles on the bottom there? It's gonna meet those at the bottom, I think. Again, this is just my first <laughs> initial reaction. So if I'm wrong, gotta stick with me here. Okay, so there's big ones and small ones. I was wondering why the holes and circles were different sizes, if you can maybe see in there. So they have like these lime green, yellow looking ones, and then a regular green, and they're just wooden sticks. So these are all always just super high quality, which is what I like. And then I think your child just must be able to put them in and notice that these holes doesn't fit, these holes it does fit, and then it slides through. Same with the little ones. I guess those could go through the big ones, but will fit much better for the small ones. So that is a cool little activity for them to do on their own independently. So we're at the counters and we often do activities like puzzles 
puzzles, things like this at our counter, like on the bar stools. So I think this will be really great for my son to be able to play with. And if I'm bringing it back, if you have older siblings or older children as well, like my three and a half year old would also like playing with this. So that's what I'm trying to like gather is that if this would be a good fit for both kids, especially if you have multiple kiddos. So, so far I'm impressed. I like this good, high quality. It's going to make them think. What we have next on the list says Montessori animal match. It looks like a puzzle, but also animals. There are some things that are enclosed. So like this, we should told me on the outside what it was <laughs> before I just go snooping in. Okay, wait, this is it. My son loves animals, especially farm animals so much. Filming this video right after Christmas. So here it's, it's January right now. And I specifically asked some of my family to get him farm animals for Christmas. So he's just gonna totally love this. And there's some animals that we definitely didn't get. Like there's a lion, a dog, oh, little monkey gorilla man, cat. And the kitty. So you get six animals that was on this box. And then I wonder where the cards are. So it seems like there are animals and there's some sort of like a puzzle that you can match them to. I wonder if it's in this bag because number three was a drawstring bag. So you can keep everything in this cotton bag, which is really nice and has all the actual characters that we just got on the outside. And then I think on the inside is where the match is. So what they want you to do is take all of the animals that I just mentioned and be able to match them. So like cat, cat. And so be able to like understand those things go together. Lion, lion, you see? So I'm gonna put all those back in this bag. I love this. I assume most of my audience here are moms. And if you're a mom, you probably love a good little organization or a bag to put everything back into. So I'm throwing all these animals back in with the puzzle. This is where they belong. And this will be good for us storing them. So that was item two and three, the Montessori animal match with the drawstring bag. I'm gonna just keep everything in. Moving on, number four is the buckle barrel. And I could see that right away <laughs> whenever I opened it. And I just feel like this box in general is just so perfect for my two-year-old. And I like understand that's why they developed these kits. And this is why they have the play kits for certain ages because they know what kids like around those ages. But my son loves buckles. He loves just being able to open them and close them. And so this is just a variety of buckles. They have the circle one here, the one that I just opened opened was like the square one like this. This is just your standard buckle. And then I think they repeat with three of the other ones. There's also one on both ends. So there's a total of eight buckles on here. It's just this a soft little like pillow that they can play with and just do all the buckles, take them apart, put them back together. <laughs> My son is going to love this. I just feel like already, I haven't even seen the other half of the toys, but I feel like this is going to be the number one favorite toy out of this entire box, which I feel like makes it worth it because it makes them think it helps them figure out thing and problem solve. And I do have like a little busy board that he uses sometimes with these buckles but this is way more <laughs> probably way more fun for him so i'm really really excited to show this to him this is definitely a win that was item number four we still have half of the box left the next one says transfer tweezers felt stars and a felt basket and i think that's what's in this which i first thought was like a little coffee cup but i now see it's just a basket <laughs> so tweezers okay so they have these little plastic looking tweezers here and then do i just take everything out i think i'm just supposed to take this take the stars out and like come down like transfer them to something i should read my play guide it probably will tell me I I'm just gonna take them all out and then like figure out how to put them back in. I feel like we might lose all these pieces, but this could be a fun activity. I feel like just like a one-on-one -on -one when my other son is maybe at school. I can just do this with my two-year-old. I could see how he could like this. Good quality, something I would probably never purchase. So it's good that it's included in this companion kit. I'm gonna put this together, move that over. What do we got next? Mosaic button board. I think that's this huge thing in here. Okay, this is what we got left. So I can see there's a book and a puzzle. And then we have this big guy. It looks like they're holding it up Kind of like Battleship. How? Do I just open it? Oh wait, can I just take it off? On? Okay, well this is a really nice board with lots of pieces inside. They're all these, well, I guess they're buttons. Ones with these little plus signs on them. I assume I'm supposed to somehow take this and then like match them like this and like put the orange on the orange, yellow on the yellow. On this side is another one too. So I guess there's maybe just two sides. Oh yeah, there's several. So this seems like there's like several designs and patterns in here. So it comes with one, two, three, inserts they all have different colors and patterns on them so that your kids can put them together there's plus signs oh look at this one kind of looks like candy corner first squares so you can change up what it looks like for them to be able to do the pattern with the different colors i just feel like they should be able to stand up somehow do you see how it's like standing up like that oh, wait, wait 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 here's the grooves i have little grooves here on the edge i think i'm just gonna slide that down I see. So you just can slide it there. There's also a second groove in there so you can move it up. Then I'm putting the buttons in. 
how hard did it get out? Just pull right out. Okay, cool. I like this. This is one of the items that will definitely go in like our little puzzle drawer, or, like the drawer where like, they don't get to access all the time because I don't feel like leaving all of these out in our playroom would be productive. I think my three-year-old would also really like this. I'm loving that these toys seem like they're either really, really appropriate for my two-year-old, which is of course why the kit was developed, or something that both my kids could like, which I feel like is just like multi-purpose. So this is a really nice high quality toy. Again, just like educational, but like not too much. So that's what I love about these Love Every, Every kits. They just give me new ideas for my kids, help them grow and develop and learn. Okay, there are two left. Number seven is Chunky Wooden Jigsaw Puzzle. It just looks like it's a four piece puzzle. And I will say at this age, you cannot expect your kid to be able to do a bunch of like puzzles, even the basic ones, like that are just like put the animal in the hole. Like that's basically all they can do right now. And so this seems like it's probably really simple, but it's what they can do right now. So I'm gonna try to put it together. Okay, wait, I did it. I did it. It seems like every single piece goes into one another and there's two sides to it. So they can kind of like mix and match. Like I could put the yellow down here and then green up here and they still all connect and go together. So just like starting those like fundamental basics of like, how do I do a puzzle? There we go. So this is like a chunky big puzzle, easy for a 22 to 24 month old child go to do it. We're doing good love every last item. Graham turns to board book. So we got a board book with our last kit. Wait, was it a board book or just a regular book? I feel like it was just a regular book and my kids keep reading it. It was uh, about this girl going home. And so this one is Graham Turns 2, which is so funny. My son literally just had his second birthday. Today is Graham's birthday. Look who's coming. Who is it? Graham's friends are here. I think it's going over a story of him having his birthday party. Oh, I wish I opened this a couple of days ago. I feel like Cameron would have loved this. He literally just had his like cake. This is so perfect. This is so perfect for his age and just like having his birthday. And so especially if you're ordering this like around the age where you're supposed to, like I'm open it when he's 24 months if I would have got it around like the 22 month range this would have been perfect to like introduce him like you're about to be too about to have a birthday party you know what I mean but overall just to recap we got the board book chunky puzzle the little felt stars with the tweezers we got this buckle thing the animals matching game so it has the animals inside with all the little matching puzzle pieces and they came with this drawstring bag as well button board which I think I can just put this as like a lid for it right okay we like that everything is inside I don't have to worry about it falling out everywhere a little wooden post with like the little stand and then we have the play guide which I didn't go through all of it yet but it basically walks you through everything tells you how you should walk it through with your child it also gives you some at home activities which maybe I should look at these are all activities that they can do that are like not related to the kit but like peeling a hard-boiled egg and it's gonna tell you why you should do this with your child and how to actually do it sorting objects by category like forks and spoons I feel like these are just really good ideas that otherwise I probably wouldn't actually think of so this also comes in your kit and that's what we got overall I'm really really impressed I've said it before I'll say it again all of these toys and items that are selected are really really high quality it doesn't mean that every single item is always going to be a win with your child like my first kit I would say like three quarters of them or at least half of them were hit the other ones they played with a few times maybe they were over it but that's like literally any toy that you buy as a parent you never know if it's going to be a win something that they play with over and over or they just like want to play with the remote or the spatula you never know what they're actually going to like but at least you have the peace of mind knowing that these are developmental appropriate they were thought out for your age child and you can totally get this as like a one-time play kit or you can get that on subscription if you want to which I think is just nice as like a little playroom rotation so if you need like a quarterly new idea for your kid this is a really really great option I will link this specific play kit in the description of this video and I'll give you a quick little update on how my kids like it and if there's a specific toy that they like the most so that you have an idea of that as well Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed unboxing the Love Every Play Kit, the companion play kit with me. I really enjoyed going through this with you for the first time and just seeing all of the neat ideas and the toys that they actually put into this play kit. I feel like it was really thought out. Again, this play kit is for 22 through 24 months old. So I have a child that's right around two years old. So if you do too, this would be perfect for them. Or you can totally gift this too. So if you're trying to think of an idea for someone that they might like that's gonna be developmentally appropriate, these are awesome gifts as well. Again, I will always link them in the the description below if you have any questions leave them in the comments but I always appreciate if you subscribe to my channel if you give this video a like that means that you're enjoying this content you want more of it and come back to my page to watch more unboxings toddler products baby products more reviews I'm also pregnant so you should expect some more things around the baby front and baby registries as well so if that interests you at all I will see you guys back here on my channel very very soon bye